Hello, hello, it's Brandy here from the Scrap Story and team with a quick process video on a layout that I created featuring a picture of my husband and his mom. They are both very difficult to get in front of photos and so this was a very rare opportunity and I wanted to make sure um, that I created a layout that really focused on the picture and so I went with the Pink Fresh Studios um, for a couple of reasons. One, to focus on the photo and the Pink Fresh Studios really features quite a, a white wash to a lot of their stuff, so lots of white, which I find really makes the pictures pop, um, as well as the Let Your Heart Decide collection from Pink Fresh Studios also has this kind of amazing um, uh, tones of orange to it, which um, this photo was taken in Harare, Zimbabwe. Um, which, you know, Zimbabwe to me is kind of oranges and browns, and so I thought that was kind of a good little um, connection, if you will. So I started with um, matting my photo with um, Bezel Basics Avalanche. I mat every photo. I think I maybe 1% of all layouts do not have a matted photo. Um, and I use, generally when I'm matting a photo, I do use Tombow liquid, mono multi-liquid glue. Um, and that's just so I can move it around a little bit after I've put it on the page. I find, um, I do use Sukwang for kind of the bigger pieces in Traveler's Notebook, but I like to be able to move it a little bit when, especially when I want just a small, um, mat. So the first thing I look for in the Pink Rush Studios is I really wanted to use one of these stitched frames. Um, they are just too cute. So there's a little bit of stitching and a little bit of embellishment on each one. So you can see here, I'm just going through the frames that I've left in my stash to see which colors make the most sense. Um, that one there says love and there was this little piece that needed to come out. So I go through them all here um, and I do like the hearts, but this love one and again, I think it's that orange and the, the connection with the orange there that, that got, that made that one the win. Um, and then from there I went on to my die cuts. Um, you'll see I grab a second package there. Yes, I have two of them because <laughs> um, I just wanted to uh, make sure I was grabbing the full package. I had a feeling that the florals in this collection, the die cuts, would work really well. So what I do generally is I just have that little tin that I pour the die cuts into. And then I go through and pick through all those things that either match kind of the point of the layout, the story I'm trying to tell, and the color scheme of the layout that I'm looking for. So you can see I've just gone through these here. And this is a really great die cut um, package. There's 59 pieces in it, which to me feels like a lot, and that's awesome. And there's just some really great stains. Like in gold, you can find like Just Start. Um, there's one that's Let Your Heart Decide. There's one called Authentic, Restless Soul, um, Write This Story on Your Heart. So there's a mix of all the oranges and the teal and the blue um, and the green from the collection, but as well, there's a lot of golds that pop on each of these or, uh, you know, about half of them that I think is really great. So, so I go through here, kind of just discarding at the top there, those that I, I don't think are going to work for this layout. Um, you know, some of them are more around like head up, heart strong, passion, um, purpose feels passion. So a little bit more of kind of journaling or my story stuff. So. So I've decided that the florals are the way to go um, here, and you can see I'm just kind of laying them out on what I think might might work. Um, <clears throat> there are two different flowers in this die cut, so it's, there's like a daisy, which I love, and then another flower, which I think might be a poppy um, that's in the collection. And so there's enough flowers, you could put them all together, they match, but there's more than enough that you could also have like two, two different kind of pages of, of floral embellishments, if you will. And there's lots of different... Um, Kind of leaves or or other botanical bits in there that really complement them so so you can see uh, there i'm putting a bunch of the florals back that are more kind of poppy based i have the uh, puffy stickers from the that match this collection the peach ones from pink fresh but um i don't have many left as you can see so i don't think i'm going to be able to spell anything out um and i cook the same way i scrapbook i clean up as i go so you can see there if i'm not going to use it i kind of get it out of my way so i'm not overwhelmed less choices is faster choices to me so with this collection as well is an awesome puffy stickers <laughs> oh pink fresh does puffy stickers so well so there's 56 pieces in this puffy sticker uh, collection which is just fabulous and it's all that same kind of idea but they're not the same saying so in you know in the die cuts there's going to be a word that's carefree and in the puffy stickers there's a word that's amazing and they match um and so that's you know really nice and some of the pieces are the same so there's puffy florals and there's the same die cut floral so you can really kind of mix and match the textures so I'm going through the papers from the collection that I have. There's many more than this, but these are what I have. I've done a lot of projects with this collection, so I don't have much paper left. 
I've decided I really like this one again for that like the white base of it. I really want my photo to stand out. I don't have many of um, my husband and his mom, so kind of want this to really be the showcase. And I love the idea of the stitching or the lines on that, kind of like a quilt family stitched together concept. The ampersand I didn't love, but that's you know well right behind my photo, so it doesn't matter. I have loved it on other layouts, but this one it just didn't make sense for me. So, so here I am just kind of deciding on my die cuts. I do try that side thinking that you know there's some white space there but um, I do end up moving that over liking how I've kind of anchored stuff um, all of my stuff in my layers on um, the stitching from the background paper so trying out some other things there's so many ways you could go with this I mean you can't go wrong the die cuts and everything matches so well so Again, I pick out another orange piece that um, is uh, matches that frame quite beautifully. Um, and it says memories in gold. Um, and then there's a space there for the date or a word or something. So I thought that was good. And these are the epoxy hearts that go with the collection. They are so pretty. Um, about half of them have gold on them and about half of them have words. And then the others are more are just textures or patterns. And you get 25 pieces in the epoxy heart stickers. And it's really, again, neat to have like the die cut, the paper, the puffy sticker, and then the epoxy heart. So you kind of get all the textures on your page. So I really like to try and use a little bit of each. So I'm starting to glue. So I've made some decisions here. <laughs> um, but you'll see I cut a piece of the frame off. And uh, not because I was worried about bulk. They're really quite flat frames and, and they wouldn't have been a problem at all. But I the pattern that's on that frame is nowhere else and so I wanted to just save a piece of it um, to use to either anchor my embellishment cluster at the bottom or even on another page as kind of a little fake washi tape if you will. And I'm back to putting my, my layers on my cluster. And I, what I'm doing there is, and I, is I guess, worrying the edges, if you will. So just softening up the edges of each of the flowers between my thumb and my finger um, and kind of curling them upwards around the, like my pad of my thumb, just to kind of get them to pop from the page a little bit. And I only glue right dead center, not all the way out to the leaf again, to kind of just give them the impression that they're, they're popping out. And I do usually cut my branding strip off much earlier than this, but you know, when things are flowing, you sometimes forget and... Um, wanted to catch it there before I had too many embellishments on and then cutting it with my trimmer would have been a problem. So again, you can see I'm just gluing the very center of the flower and I've worried those um, petals so that they come up a little and that's what I'm doing there when I'm just circling it in my hand. So I think I end up using all the greenery <laughs> of this collection. Um, and there, that last little piece I put was actually a puffy sticker, which mass matches the leaf. So that cluster, each of the clusters has both die cuts and puffy stickers in them. So love that. And they're identical, the look, other than the fact that they have the texture. So that's a really neat. And that's a puffy flower. Leaning in there. Put my mat forward um, where my my layout is so that it's got the best light on my desk. I've got photo lamps in my scrapbook room and everything, but in rainy Vancouver, it can be quite dark here for about Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. So it can be dark here for about six months. And so I find as bright as I feel like the room is, sometimes it doesn't translate in video. So apologies if I keep leaning into the frame there with my fuzzy ponytail. So I've decided to put that cluster on the other side, again, to anchor it in the same way that the picture is um, on those the, the stripes that are on the background paper. And I'm bringing the florals as well to the bottom. So the main focus is obviously on that picture with the florals, but just for a continuity of design here, I am bringing florals to the, the bottom. And that's a puffy sticker that I have there. Um, and then just a, um, a paper leaf, a die cut leaf. And then this is that little piece from the frame that I cut off. Um, and you'll see I just create like a little washi tape sort of. And I just want to have enough that um, there's a continuity of that same pattern from the frame down to the bottom where I've anchored um, some more clusters. So it just peeks out a little, just a little something, something. Um, yeah. And then I think I've largely decided on that memories 
the little orange square um, down where it is. I'll come back to these, um, what are they called, tabs, I guess, at the top of the photo a couple of times because they start to feel a little bit too heavy or just not necessary. So I'm back to my heart, seeing where I can get a heart on the page because I certainly like those the boxy hearts and the little bit of shine. So I can see that one will make a lot of sense down at the bottom. So that's nice. That little cluster at the bottom has die cuts, puffy hearts, and epoxy, um, puffy stickers, and epoxy hearts. So all the textures, which I quite like. And the little heart there that I keep playing with, that paper heart, uh, it's one of my favorites from the die cuts, and it is write this story on your heart, um, which, yeah, I just love. So again, it's very rare we get photos of these guys, and we don't, don't get to see my mother-in-law very often. So um, the die cuts and the sayings in this collection really work. jostled the camera there sorry so here I'm back to glue down that cluster finally I think I can commit <laughs> I've only moved it around how many times right so you can see I use Tombow glue to stick down like any of the little bits um, I find it's tacky enough it does what it needs to do but I'm also I'm not good at putting it exactly where it is I tend to kind of worry it a little bit and tilt it a little and so I have just enough time you know, 10, 15 seconds with the Tombow where I can still kind of give things a little bit of a tilt um, versus for me, like Su Kuang, um, there's just no forgiveness and I'm just not that good on the first shot. So I only use it when, you know, it, there's something to line it up against or I know it's not going to move, so, or needs to not move. So for example, in my traveler's notebooks, I use Su Kuang. So I've got this little tag um, that says memories and there's a space for a date. And so I have these little date stamps, these self-adhering date stamps. And I have one that goes up to 2018, one that goes up to 2015 and one that is beyond that. So I've just um, stamped that with the date and I've tried the stamp first on just a leftover branding tag to make sure that it's going to be the right one. I have done the wrong date and upside down many a time and I have learned my lesson now to trial it somewhere. Just gluing down those pieces and then I'm back to these chat these little tabs again I know there's a green one in the collection maybe it's because it needs to be green uh, but it feels heavy it doesn't make me happy <laughs> you can see I move these around for a while get my tool because I'm losing them behind the photo and it just it doesn't suit the two of them does not suit the way that it's lined up it's too much um, but I do like this little one that I did end up picking um, which says um, life is the story I think um, yeah and it's just nice muted blue and kind of matches the blue that's in those leaves so here I am finding me a puffy heart um, I've decided on a little peach one and I'm just going to use it to kind of anchor that tab to the photo so here's what I mean by I never stick it down in the right place <laughs> and I always need to move it a little even with stickers so using my trusty tool I think I've got that where it is get rid of that guy Again, here's me cleaning up and I still don't feel done I feel like there needs to be something um, and I think that it's going to be missed that I'm, I'm thinking about so that's what I go to so what I tend to do is I find another scrap from the same collection of the paper I'm using and I just daub a little bit from the like the actual nozzle of the 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 mist on there to just see how the color is going to actually turn out some papers like love color shine and it stays true others don't or um, Mr. Huey is true and it or it's not so I just always kind of tried a little bit so I did try like a green color shine the chartreuse I tried um, uh, sunset of the Mr. Hueys I think I tried another color shine there oh yeah I did the the gold no the orange and then what I ended up going with was the um, irresistible colored textured spray so I have a gold one of that and it is legitimately textured, so it actually stays raised off of the, the page. So a little bit like a spritzed enamel dot. Um, I only have it in the gold, um, but it's a fabulous product, so I really enjoy it. But it's quite thick, so you have to give it a really good shake. So, so here I am, I'm just grabbing a scrap piece of paper from kind of my recycle bin to cover the photo so that I don't get the spritz on the photo. I do want the spritz and the texture to actually get on the rest of the embellishment clusters. So I don't bother covering those up at all. 
And I just, um, because I want, I don't want to spray. I just want to kind of, um, I guess, I don't know, spritz. I don't know how else to say it. I don't want to spritz. I just want to like splatter, I guess, or drop some on there. What I do is I just um, take some of the, uh, the irresistible out of the container with a paintbrush. And then I've got my little misty guy um, there with water. And I just give it a mist to water it down a little bit. And then I'm just putting a whole bunch on my paintbrush and just tapping it. And it's kind of hard to see in this light. And because it is quite a light gold color, um, almost like a yellowy gold, when I do the stills at the end of the video, you'll see what it looks like. And again, I just keep taking on more, kind of finding where it's going to be. And I'm really focused on just um, putting it all over the embellishment parts of it. So, And that little bit of water down also dilutes the color a little, which is, which is perfect. So here's my stills. And that is my process video. I really like how the layout turned out so you can see it there. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching.